What's going on again, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. We are back here from some more Major League Baseball news. As we unfortunately are not going to be talking about any signings or trades, even though the free agent market is very hot right now with the lockout coming to an end. But unfortunately, the Padres received some very bad news today regarding their superstar shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr., who is, of course, involved in, in, in a 14-year, $340 million contract, probably been playing his, probably most likely, entire career, if not most of it, with the Padres. Um, unfortunately, has a wrist injury, and it's looking like he's going to be required surgery for it, and he's probably going to miss about three months of the season, which means he's probably going to be out until at least June, if not back by the All-Star break. Which sucks, big time for the Padres. Um, Tatis is definitely one of the young stars that's just breaking out and you know being a superstar. Uh, he hit 42 home runs and drove in 130 RBIs last year, uh, despite an, a shoulder injury limiting him to just 130 games. I'm pretty sure if he didn't get injured, he most likely had a good shot reaching 50 home runs, which at some point I think he still will when he's healthy. Not this season, though. Um, apparently, he did play through that shoulder injury last year a lot longer than he should have. Um, but now, of course, he had a wrist injury that he apparently may have suffered from falling off of his motorcycle, I have heard. Um, but the Padres, of course, you know, they're in a tough spot. I definitely was very high on them last year. Unfortunately, maybe because of, you know, experience and a lot of you know younger guys well you know there's still some veterans like will myers and former world series uh winner eric hosmer as well uh part of, and of course manny machado so they, there are some you know long-term veterans that are on the team to help out but the padres unfortunately you know they started off great but they collapsed in the second half last year um and definitely losing um fernando tatis jr was is definitely a big blow for them I mean, of course, they have other options. You know, they do have, you know, Jay Cronworth, you know, Manny Machado, you know, he's their third baseman, can definitely play shortstop also as well. Um, I know some people talk about maybe they'll go after maybe Carlos Correa or uh, Trevor Story, uh, but I don't think that one's going to happen because, I mean, if anything, you know, they're, they're, they're looking for something more long-term, and I highly doubt they're going to sign Story or um, Correa for just like a one-year deal. I'm pretty sure they're both looking for like – big multi-year contracts and Correa of course is still the biggest name out there on the market um so yeah I mean there's been a lot of you know young stars like you know Fernando Tatis Jr. um Ronald Acuna Jr. uh who have definitely been hampered by injuries within the past two seasons a little bit I mean not severely yet of course but you know definitely this year uh Tatis is going to be is going to be missing probably about three months of the season um, and Acuna's not going to be back till May, but definitely, you know, some of these young guys who are definitely like, you know, future MVPs, it's like not happening this year, but you always worry, you know, will that one injury, you know, impact your, the rest of your career? I just hope that doesn't happen for Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, so let's wait and see what happens of the, how the Padres, you know, try to, you know, fill in for Tatis until he gets back. So we'll have to wait and see, but guys, that's my thoughts on the, the, um, the news today about Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, requiring most likely requiring surgery on his wrist and will be at missing action for about three months. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure as always to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel and follow me on Twitter as well at DemandAirBoy93. Until then guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace out everybody.